Yeah. Uh, what they, what's that cracker name, brother? The, the, oh, that, that one you sent. Said you got that. Oh name. yeah, uh, uh, Tom like like. That's it. I can't remember. Tom, Tom like it. Like Tom yeah. like it. Now look, check this out. He said he come out. He come out cheaper. They must be having a convention. Uh, I see they got the Masonic uh, Square. Uh huh. Oh. They both they had say yeah. Masonic. Masonic. But but yeah, uh, he said he come out cheaper, just getting a, uh, basically a maid. Right. That, 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 right. Uh, you know, let him get his thing off That's once it, in a man. while. So he say he come out cheaper because that way he get he get food cooked and his house clean. And when he get ready to do, get his thing off, he get his thing off. And he say he come out cheaper that way. Yep. But shit, you know find you find you a woman like that though. Shit. They hard to find. These bitches rather charge you a hundred dollars for thirty minutes to get some stank ass bites because they lazy as fuck. Right. They want to lay up on their back and then you done spun, you done put in all these hours of work yep. all week, yep. and right. then you supposed to just give it to them for laying on their fucking right. back right. for thirty fucking minutes. And it ain't even worth it. It that, ain't that, worth that, it. That's really, right. Really, a couple dollars to cover the day. That should be it. <laughs> you yeah, know. Throw a couple. Shit I mean, myself. that's all it worth. I'm about a two dollar hoe. <laughs> That, that's all Literally. they did. These, these, these pussies is used up. They smell. So what you gonna what you gonna do with it? You know they dry as hell. If you the black woman, you ain't getting no juice out of that. Good grace. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, we just speaking the truth, man. That's what it that's is. Real. It is what it is. That's that's. Now Nate, now Nate, them can't be demonize us because we talking like this. Right. Yeah. But we keeping it real, man. We ain't holding back on on, on nothing. Fucking you know. Bagwash. You see how they talking, man? We keeping it real, cause this is what's going on. <laughs> nah, I'm like, who said that? <laughs> Just keep it real. I think Martin and one, one is one is movies or something. Oh, uh, Eddie Murphy, yeah. He said, keep it real, nigga. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on, man. Prostitution at all time yeah. high. Overpriced garbage pussy. And uh, Tom. Like we were saying, uh, what, what our people see, that's what they get into. Yeah. You know? To the eyes. Because if everybody walking around, if all the women just say, you know what, we finna start covering our head and wearing, dressing like the scripture, and everybody start <laughs> doing it, then they would feel like ostracized I'm and not, a, not accepted yeah. if they walking around still with their ass and titties hanging out. Like over so they can say, you know what, let me go ahead and wrap my head up and cover my ass up. Right. And a good example of that, to prove that point, you got all these people that, like, people that tweet or that leave comments on the comment board or whatever, or when they text people, everybody using goddamn hashtags. Why? Because if you don't use a hashtag, it's like the brother say, you're going to feel ostracized. I ain't a part of with everything else that's going on. I don't even know what the hashtag is. Come on. <laughs> the, the number sign. The, the, like a tic-tac-toe. Oh. Yeah, what well, we used to call the pound. Yeah, yeah all right. right. I said, damn, we call it the pound sign. Now it's a hashtag. You gotta have that on the make it official. You gotta have hashtag, yeah. Right. Wow. See, that show y'all, <laughs> we don't even get into that bullshit. Yeah. Twitter, I don't know, Twitter, Instagram. I ain't got none of that shit. Facebook. Yeah, that shit confused me for a minute out of the hashtag <laughs> shit. That shit All these, like, what the fuck is uh, uh, abbreviated acronyms. acronyms in Texas and all that. Con. Yeah, I got to Google that shit just to see what motherfucker talking about. <laughs> man, in a nutshell, man, this place got to go. Con. Con. Right. This place has got to fucking go, man. And I, I, I pray that the most high escalate this Ebola. That's right. Con. Yeah, bring that out, brother. Con. This is Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. That's right. Neither shalt and the thou... Reason, why why you think the Most High put this in the law? Because that's, really, that's human nature. Whatever you see the masses doing, you're going to fall and fall and, and sue. You're going to fall in line with what everybody else doing. Even if you resist for a while, you're going to be like, damn. You know? I ain't getting no. I ain't get. Uh, yeah, uh right there. I think then he. I seen him go by uh, Bunyasha and them camp on the cliff. So.
Somebody yeah. came with a big beard, yeah. I don't know if that's him, though. Okay. But uh, anyway, what was it? What's, oh, oh, well, I say, why you think the Most High, <clears throat> why the Most High put that in the law? Because that's that just, in, especially in the Israelites. Israelites like to be play follow the leader, man. Yeah, man. Because why? And what's the proof of that? The shit that these other nations is into. Right. Jake start following what they doing. It's all in the scriptures. That's, That's right. why the Most High said, I think of that in Psalms 105. Let me see if I what did it say? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. Another what proof, like the brother was saying, just read the book of Judges. So every time a judge would, would, would die, the nation would automatically, like the brother say, go into the customs of the heathen around them. And then the Most High had to raise up another judge to lead Israel. You know, it's it's just the nature. And then when you go into the to the woman, it's automatically a woman's nature to follow. And a woman, that's why a woman should be up under either her father or her husband. But a man, we supposed to follow Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the, the law, statutes, and commandments that he had written for us pursuant to Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. You know, our whole duty is to keep the commandments. Come not to follow these heathen nations. Keep the commandments. <coughs> follow not a multitude to do evil. Go ahead, brother. That's right. And that's what, that's what this man, this fucking devil, the so-called white man, promotes. Is I want to get everybody on a, on, a, on a standard of something. And if I can get the masses to do it, everybody will do it. If I can get the masses to believe it, everybody will believe it. And they program uh, society to ostracize you or, or make fun of you if you're not going with the crowd. Man. Like like Elder Gabar made that statement. We even spoke on it before. It's hard to... Basically, you're going to go through persecutions trying to live a trying to live righteous in a wicked society because basically everything is against you now you now you sticking out like a sore thumb that's right you know because you're not indulging and in, in engaging in the activity and in the, in the uh, wickedness that's taking place here that's right you a criminal for not wanting to eat pork yeah yeah that's like committing a crime Hey, you don't want to hang around some fucking homos, or you don't agree with with whatever you know the you, homosexual agenda. Damn, you never go out. You don't yeah, go oh, out. Man, yeah. that. Damn, all you do is sit at the house, too. go to work. I got it out my freshman year in school. They're like, bro, why you don't never go out, man? Why you just in your bag all the time? Like, dude, y'all, y'all didn't understand what little, what even going on in life. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, look, I came here, you know. I changed my life. Like, soon I got you know to school, I started you know saying get in the scriptures and everything. Yeah, like, bro, you wanna go? I'm like, nah, man, I'm just not down like real, I'm about to watch these videos. You know, see, like, man, but that's all you do, bro. I'm like, hey, it's all man too, dude. But see, that's you know? when you, I don't like nah, that. I'm sorry, brother, but when you uh, yeah. first coming into this troop, you know, that's how most brothers be, and we gotta, you know, you get out of that speed, you gotta basically do like it say in the book of Revelation, remember, uh, oh, remember that first love, because when you first come into this thing, man, you can't get enough of it. It's supposed to stay that way. Yeah. But you know, sometimes a brother can tend to get uh, complacent or content. Gone. And you gotta check that. Gone. You gotta check that mentality. You know, and uh, but uh, yeah, when you, you don't wanna do nothing else, you don't wanna go out. You just wanna learn these breakdowns. Yeah. Get into the scriptures, you know, learn this book. Learn, learn the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, yeah. you ain't got no desires to go out with these wicked ass niggas. Cause all you gonna do is see a bunch of niggas doing dope and com trying to commit adultery. Go ahead, brother. Or not trying, committing adultery. Yeah. Because once you say it in your mind or think it in your mind, you committed the act. When you say, man, I'm gonna get that nigga woman, you already did it. it. Even if you never lay down with her. Go ahead, brother. What's your yeah, point? I was just gonna say, man, it, it take a, it take a, a, a special spirit, man, to be in the university in the, to stay locked in, man. Because yeah. I know you really surround. Because see, we just around it at work, so we, we 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 can go home. We ain't got to be around that shit. 
but that's where you live, eat, sleep, and drink constantly around wickedness, man. We know what go on in these universities, man. So, yeah, man. Hey. Yeah, cause I was ahead. I did it. Car. I did it, man. I mean, it's just my personal testimony. I, I did the college life, the full fucking college scene. Not just a couple of years, but I did five years of that wickedness. <clears throat> and the, the wicked, the 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 highest level. That's one institution of where the highest level of wickedness take place. Faggotry, lesbianism, drugs, women getting completely slutted out. Oh yeah. And that's that's what's going on, you know, so any any uh Israelite man that a nigga that wanna send his daughter to college, you a goddamn yeah, fool. Yeah. Right. You wanna send your son to school, you a damn idiot. Because all it's gonna do is corrupt them, unless the most high got a plan to to, to pull you uh, to wake you up to the truth, you know. That's the only way. They have me so I got the school. I got the school and I started I, I, um, I was like I had read a scripture, you know what I'm saying, like Job 33 by Job being black and then like I was all into that, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know who the black was in the Bible. So I, I just typed in, you know what I'm saying, Job 33 on YouTube, then I saw some on like, YouTube like video. And I think it was like some pop them. And then so I watched some heat video, then I started watching that video for so, like six or seven months. Then I started watching uh Eric Taharda. I just I just stuck with the whole time. Last night, what's up? You just uh, hit the page up last night, uh, uh, day before. I, I mean, it I might have been, been somebody. Right? Been somebody yeah. You might be talking about somebody else. Yeah, I didn't. Well, hey, you know, brother, that, hey, that's that's the first step. I mean, we all waking up because you know we was all in the in the world doing all kind of wickedness and stuff. But uh, we gotta 